Hi everyone. I'm trying I just tried to start this here video and then but I got problems with lighting. I have a big long LED like a light above my desk, which is perfect for my crafting because I can see it is so bright. I can see. But then when I try to do a video, it leaves a shadow this long two dark shadows across and I can't figure out why those shadows are there. So now I turn the LED light off and I got a lamp right there and I got a lamp right there. This is just a bare light bulb right there on this side. Let me see what happens if I turn the LED light on now. Nope, it puts that shadow there again. Okay, so LED light is off. And, um, but I think that might work. What I want to do today is I want to, I've been working on a few um, small, well, now that's going to be really dark, on a few um, stitching projects I've been working on, and I want to add them, in fact, I I think I did like all of these just in the last few days. This one's not quite finished. But I want to get them in in my books before I lose them because I have a, a way of losing things. I don't know if you all have that problem at your house, but here I have little crickets or something that crawl, that move things around. These are two couch pillows that I've made. They're journal, they're journal, fabric journal couch pillows. And I have, I have to look in there and see if I've got any empty pages that I can add. Two, I started with a placemat. This was like a really old rustic, I just love this rusticy quilted placemat. And so I use that for a cover on this particular one. And then I have, I've put um, these here three stings is try what, try, what ties it together. And here I've got a flat page, a flap, that I made a flower on this side, but then also a flower on this side. So it's a double-sided slow stitch. This one here is, I believe, I put that on there, and I got beads just sewn around that piece. And that looks pretty cool there, but that's the back. And here, I, oh, I've got, on here I got painting. I painted it, and I stitched both on there. This one here, I, um, I, I couched that word love on there. And then I got some yo-yos on there and I kind of embroidered a flower. It's a kind of sort of thing. Oh, and then that was my little lady I made with a little piece of doily and this button. Cartula sent me some buttons that she had made into put a face on them and so cute. So I made her there. In this here, I've got a pocket a lace pocket. Oh, I remember when I did this. I did this one on a video. Just a little slow stitching. And then, see, I got put that in that lace pocket in there in my book. This I did some pretty cool stuff in here. Wait a minute, what is this stuck? Oh, that was stuck. Oh, cool. Oh, you know what? The little um, paper beads that I used on here for her arms, I guess they just got kind of sticky, and so they stuck, but everything's okay. Everything's fine. She's good. She's just a little girl. Look at that. It's just a strip of fabric, and the little face, and her arms are the beads, and here I did the stitching, and I wrote Believe. And here's another one of those little, 
what's her name? I can't remember. And some flowers and a and a yo-yo, and it's just pinned on with safety pins. And oh, this was one that this was when I made all these little houses. There's houses back here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses on here. And all of them have a button for the doorknobs. Ah, oh, isn't that cute? I didn't think, I don't think I liked it that well when I first made it. And then this one, I couched on this tree, and then here's a house. There's a house right there. Oh man, did I do that yet? Sometimes you look at, you do things, and you look at them, and then you wonder, did I really do that? And then here's another double-sided flower. Double-sided. So I, I embroidered on the leaves, but then I sewed on a little, like a yo-yo flower, on each side. So it's a, both of them just right on that one thing. Oh, man, I like this one. This is like... Oh, I remember doing, I love this, this, uh, I remember when I had this applique, and I had hoarded it for so long, because it's so pretty, and I didn't know what shall I do with it. It was longer, it was bigger than this, so I cut and used part of this, I remember, and part of it in something else. And then I did, I, all the way around this whole piece, before I put on these yo-yos or this, I did the um, boral stitching all the way around. Then I put on this and this and the, oh man, when you look at these after you haven't looked at them for a while, oh here I got spade, oh wait a minute, what's this? Oh, that's not finished, I gotta work on this one. Okay, I'm gonna put that so I work on it. But there's a space I could put one of these here. I could put that one, I still have to put my, where'd I put my purple bow? I found a purple bow I want to go on on this one. So I just did this one. This one says courage. Cor cor I can never say that word, courage. Cur courage. My, It's hard for me to say that word. But this one I kind of did. Um, I'm going to get a slight. I, there's a lot of lavender in this one. Lavender and um, just cream and vintage colors. And the word courage is here. And that's pretty, but I found a lavender bow when I was, I, oh, there it is. This bow is going to go on here somewhere. Maybe just right there. These are so much fun. These are pieces of, of um, wool fibers that, I think it is wool. I'm not sure. I'm, I was calling it wool, but, um. My friend Carmen sent me a bunch of sheets of this. Well, I cut some of them in half so I could use them. See, so this is the other half of this one. And I've been playing with these. And I don't I don't know if it's wool. At first I thought it was um, just what they call lightly felted or something. But then I can see that it's actually woven fabric. So I don't know what it is. But I've been using those to for the back, and then I've been just doing some slow stitching on them. I should, we can't see this. Well, hopefully that shadow isn't too much of a pain. It's such a shadow. Okay. And then here I stitched this page on half and half on that one. Oh, this one's not stitched on yet. Oh, see that this here was some more of that piece back there, a page or two back. And I put part of it there too. And then I have some little beads are on there. Little beads around it. Buttons are here. Yo-yos with buttons. Little beads. I went around this flower, too. 
man, when you're slow stitching, you can just put anything, anything goes. I did a lot of boro stitching or just running stitch. All and looks like I just went around and around and around. Oh, look at that side. Even that side's pretty. So maybe I should, like, I could probably take this side and put, like, some yo-yos and stuff on there and actually have this a double-sided slow stitch and just leave it in my book. It doesn't have to even be attached. It can be just left, like this in here. I think that's what I'm going to do because this is so pretty on this side too. It, it, you know, except for, you know, it's got some threads and stuff where I sewed other things on. So where I have those threads, that's where I could actually add more things. You know what I have? I've got, I, just, I had a piece of fabric and I cut it apart yesterday. Let me see if I have it real handy. I wonder if I have it real handy. Yeah, here it is. This is it. This is my... It was a piece of fabric. Let me see if I can get it in between the shadows. But this piece of fabric was amazing. It was amazing. Especially, well, there was two different pieces. But I... um. Oh, man, this is amazing. The stuff that was on this fabric. Well, this is some of it here. But this, like here, is a piece that was on. And this is like, almost like, I mean, it's just gorgeous. These pieces, all vintage looking like labels. But it was on fabric. Vintage looking labels, but it was on this piece of fabric. And and there is just a bird. This one here says Harris's gloves of every description for ladies, children, men, and boys. And some card backs. This is like a calling card. But these this is all fabric. And I, look at that's a key. See, I can still fussy cut around each one of these, but I am going to be using these in my slow stitching too. This fabric, I bought it, I bought a half a yard from somebody that was doing an auction. And Market Fresh Moda Fabric and Supplies. I would love to get some more of this fabric. I wonder if I like put a search up because I don't even remember the the seller that I bought it from. But this is just beautiful stuff. But now, and so that's what I did was I just went around and cut all the pieces, just cut them all. And there, look at this one, the Union Piano Manufacturing Company. 1017 Walnut Street, Philadelphia. Won't this be fun to slow stitch these onto pieces of fabric? I cut these after, these are stamps, after I was finished doing what I was doing for the day. Oh, this is a, this is a bouquet, a part of a bouquet, because that was the edge. But I still, it can be used. Rules for all games for onlookers compiled from the best authorities edited by the New York Consolidated Card Company. Rules for all games. So that's a like a book cover. Good luck. This is the Queen Miss Corset Skirt Supporter. Absolutely. Oh, that's somebody's feet. But these are so cool, and these were all on that piece of fabric. Oh, look at this piece. It looks like everybody, it must be a family home and the whole family standing in front of it. And that's, was on, this is the fabric. I mean, this is, and here's a check. There's a check. 
all these things are, oh, look at this bird. Look at that bird. How pretty. So these are, and look at that car. Oh, well, these ones didn't cut all the way apart. There's a fish and this car, purple, a purple car. Maybe I should have my purple page. We put up to the side. Shade rollers. But these are, oh, look at that butterfly. Boy, when I see fabric like this that's got the famous New York clothing house, goods retailed at wholesale price, Louisville, Kentucky. Look at that gentleman. He is a gentleman and a scholar. And more gloves, another butterfly, stamps. Oh, look at there's a purple crown. Add a hundred or two. What is this? Harmony? Oh, I think this might be a cigar wrapper, a cigar band. And look at there's a nest with bird eggs in it. So, you know, I could take like pieces here I could take and just stitch these on oh my word oh my that's what I'm gonna do because this is pretty so if I were to take a couple pieces and put them like stitch them like over the pieces like this just like this and then um, maybe put a few little yo-yos here, maybe a couple buttons here, and just put a very small stitch where I'm not going to change the look of the other side. I think that's what I'm going to do because I like this. I like this, this piece. I love this. But as long as I just use small stitches on this side, I will not mess this up what's already there. That's what I'm going to do. And it doesn't even have to be stitched in this book. So I'm going to take that out because I'm going to work on that. So I'm going to take that out for now. And then I can add another page here. Like now this one, I used a piece of the green felt and I just, well, I, what I did first was I just went across and across and across with the running stitch. And I got everything. Oh, this bird was on that fabric too. So I did use a piece of that. But I cut that bird up. But I more fussy cut him. And then I put the royal stitches on. I laid these out and just put them on. But then I went with my little thread and went around and did a whip stitch all the way around the bird. And, oh, I did around this piece too. Well, I guess I did all of them. And then this is a piece of ruffled fabric, and I just put that in there and put that stained up button on there. That stained up button, see, isn't that pretty? I think that's really pretty. Now, see, he could probably live on that page. Put them two buttons on there. My stained up button come from this. This is another piece. Oh, where is that word that they call this? Um, now I don't know the word, but what I did with this, because I figured it's, it's a lot like wool. I think it, I don't know what it is, but, um, I think it's wool, but I want to get some more. I want to get some wool. I want to go to the thrift shop and see if I can find any wool jackets or something that I can just take apart and use the wool. But this here is just how far I am with it so far. I, um, I think, what do they call this? It's not sashiko, it's shibori? Shibori. Maybe that's what it's called, shibori. But you take, I took just that one piece of a fabric, and I, um, I just took the one piece of fabric, and then I took buttons, like, and I just took buttons, and I tied around the button with thread, then put another one right next to it until I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buttons in there. And then I took it, then I took it to the kitchen, 
and I wet it and soaked it. Put a lot of soap on there and a lot of water. And then I just left them buttons in there and that string on there until it, um, I really rubbed and rubbed and rubbed real hard. Because I thought I was sort of like wet felting, but I'm not an expert at wet felting at all. But I was just playing sort of. Then after it took two days to dry, then I took the buttons out. See? So now the fabric is just kind of formed around where those buttons were. They almost look like some kind of mushrooms or something. Now I want to wet it again. Because then I cut. See, I took the string off and pulled the buttons out of the back. That's how that one right there got all stained. It was in there. But um, And then I took scissor and just cut the holes in the front of the spots there. It looked pretty without the holes, but I'm just playing. So, But I don't, I want to see if I wet it and soak it again. If I wet it with soapy water again and and give it a good rubbing. And then let it dry. I want to see if, now if this was 100% wool, it would shrink some more. And then these edges where I cut it, it would, um, well, I don't know what it'll do. But I want to see what it'll do. So that's what I'm going to do. But anyhow, that's how that button got stained. Anyway, that was the end of that story. And then let's see. Yeah, so that one's going to live right here. So I might just do a little stitch or I might just pin them on. Oh, look at even on here I put just little safety pins. You can use little safety pins even on your as an embellishment. So that's got that there. And then, oh, there was another one with that little girl that I can't even think of her name. Lala, Luli, I can't remember. But anyway, this one's got a lot of yo-yos and... Um, Buttons. This one too is just stitched on there. Oh, and then I got two pages here. So then this one, again, I used um, another piece of that felt ish, feltish material fabric. God, look at those shadows. The shadow knows. I won't figure out why those shadows are there. They get between the shadows. See, that one says Believe on there. And here I stitched on a curtain ring. I had um, still a shadow even up there. I wish I knew why that shadow was there. But anyway, I um, stitched around that curtain ring, and so it stitched right on to the fabric. Then I had these little burlap butterflies, and I stitched them on there. But I just kind of overlap. And this here piece of um, fabric right here, it's got like typewriting on it. That was that was from a piece of fabric that had like an applique, or like you could take like an applique on the fabric, and you cut the applique out, and you stitch it onto something. Well, this was the instructions. And I said, that is cool. That's got that writing on there. So anyhow, that can live on that page. And then, what's this one? Oh, that's the one I'm going to work on. Okay. Boy, I'm getting confused. Elizabeth, you're confusing yourself again. So let's see. What else did I have? Okay. There we go. Oh, did I have? Oh, then this one. Oh, this was cool, too. This one here. I just took the red piece, but then I took this here, it's called trellis yarn, or tre like tre trellis, it's a trellis, and, um, but I took this, I put it on a needle, and I just stitched, well, I just took two pieces of fabric and just crossed them, put this one this way, and this one this way, and then I went with that needle, with that thread on there, with that trellis yarn and just in and out, in and out, in and out, back and forth, back and forth, the little thing was covered. But and then I just I didn't pull it tight. I left it loose. Each stitch I just left it loose. And I think that looks so awesome. And that one got the word love. And I put that on with four buttons. 
And I think that looks so cool. And that, that it's, you know, I never tried stitching with this. So, but I have some needles, you know, with a um, large eye. And you can stick some large stuff in a large eyed needle. I don't know why I'm sure, Sonia. I'm looking at my screen. I can't see a flipping thing, so I know you can't see nothing. But anyway, that can live on this page. Then I still have, oh, I have this page then. I did this one. This one says Dream. And this one I took apart. I mean, I took some, this was a piece of, of off of a vintage pillowcase, I think. But it had some embroidery already on it. So I used that. And then just a couple pieces of fabric. This one, this was a piece of crocheted something. This is a little piece that come off of Janet. Um, Janet Nash had sent me some fabric pieces, and that was a piece of a uh, cassette tape. It was like a cassette tape on a piece of fabric, so I cut one of them off and put that there. And a yo-yo down here with a button. And this was some of that sari fabric that I just um, gathered up. And I got that on there. And it's just all stitched on there just like that with all that borrow stitching. So that one can live right here. And that would fill up this book, I think. What's that lump in there? Oh, it's a pocket. I forgot I left that as a pocket. It was a lump in there. This here was a piece of fabric that was, um, it was all white. But it had almost like an embossed, these embossed flowers on them. So it was like white on white. And so I just took um, fabric, uh, thread that was just all these colors. Of, it was crochet cotton. And I just stitched around every one of those little pieces, and it come out like that, and it's so pretty. And how come I have that stuffed in there? I just had that stuffed in there. I think Cordula made this. Cordula sent me like a box full of beautiful things. So I can't have that just stuffed in that pocket, making a lump. I need that for something. Okay, so that's that book. And then, see, now those things are going to live in there. I um I don't have them tied in there yet. I mean, I don't have them stitched in there, but that's where they're going to go. At least I know where they're going to go. Then I just take my ties here, and I tie them in rows. This is macrame cord, which I have a bit of macrame cord, and I'm going to be using this in my weaving. Because I'm going to get into some weaving going on here. I've got my my weaving loom, loom warped. And, well, no, I don't have it all the way warped yet. But, but see, there, and i got them three ties in there. That holds, and that's my, a couch pillow, see? It, because it's all puffy. Instead of just full of polyfill, it's filled with art. Okay. So let's see what's in this one now. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, this was another one. I was into trees, I guess, for a while. So I made this an apple tree and a house. And this piece here I couched on there. That's the smoke coming out of the chimney. And here I just stitched on some pieces of I guess I was learning to do French knots there. That's a fly stitch there. And different stitches. And on here was a piece of a lace doily. And then this one. Oh, this was the... Um, I did... This one I did a long time ago, too. This one here... Uh, this was a tree as well. I did the trunk with this braided fabric. And then I had the branches going out. I put some silver beads on there. It was a leaf. Yo-yos. Yo-yos. Lace. And, oh, this must have been the roots of the trees down here. 
See where the branches came down. And there's your flower up here. See when you're doing, oh, and then I just let that hang because it's pretty. So I just let that hang. This has got some pretty beads in there. Flower um, yo-yos with buttons. This is like almost like a book of um, nostalgia because I did this a long time ago. And so just different small pieces. I think somebody sent me this. I think this one was sent to me by um, by um, this was sent to me. I think Joy made that. And then here's a lace pocket here. Joy actually made this here. Okay, Papa. Look at that. Um, she actually made this whole journal, the pages, the cover and the pages, and then she gave it to me to finish. And this is a pretty, that was made by Padua. That's a, a coaster, but I stuck it in there. This here is a um, tag, and it's fabric and paper. Oh, that shadow. Mm. Darn it. It's a light bulb. Then, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I remember this one too. This one's, oh, yeah. I have some beads in here and a yo yo flower, and then beads with sequins around it. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but hey, I'm tooting. Look at the, the birds here, cardinals. You can stitch anything on. Then when you look at it later on, a couple day years down the road, it's like all brand new again. All brand new again. Look at that. And see, these aren't finished. I can still work more on these. Oh, I need to work more on these. Look, there's buttons up here. And I got a lot of these are just safety pinned on here. So because they're just safety pinned on there, I can just take them off and work some more on them. And this is another one of my double-sided. Um, hmm. I only have, okay, she didn't have the pages put in when she gave it to me. They weren't sewn in there yet. And I just have them safety pinned on. So, they, the pages don't even have to be sewn in. Safety pins work just fine. This was another double-sided flowers, fabric flowers. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I don't have these sewn in yet. You can, let me put them off right there. There we go. Oh, and this one, I did this one double-sided. There's flowers here. And then on this page over here, flowers in the same place. So the stems, I don't do real embroidery. I just put threads, just use threads. But see, so this leaf is here and here on both sides. And then the flowers are on both sides in the same place. Same place. Isn't that the coolest thing? That's the coolest thing since sliced bread, I think. Oh, and then I got a flower here. It must supposed to go somewhere. Yeah, maybe I was going to put that one up here. I got to work on these loops. See, that's what I do. I start doing something, and then I work. I move on. I move on to something else. I don't know about these lights. I don't like that shadow. That's making me nervous. But anyway. And then these ones aren't bright enough. What if I get a like a hundred watt bulb and put in that light? Maybe I need to buy light bulbs anyway. But um then this is just like a little flag. I made that there and put that ball hard on there. Now all this one is this piece here, all it is is stitching. Lace on the edge. And nothing has to be like all perfect and stuff. No. Just it can be whatever, and nothing has to match. Like here, I got some jungle fabric, and this is like some children's fabric, and there's some stars in the sky. There's some fishing. 
this is a little piece of velvet ribbon. I guess I just thought that would look pretty there. And that is pretty there. Oh, and see, I and these I just pin them on. The page is just pinned, and then I just put some yarn on the pins. And look at this. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I'm weird. <laughs> you have to excuse me, but I like this. I think I'm liking this better than when I first made it, because I done forgot I made it. I used a lot of yo-yos, apparently, and buttons. How pretty. Oh, yeah. I remember. Excuse me, guys. But I do remember when I did this one, too. Look at there. I stitched some leaves on with embroidery floss and put a flower. I put the stem and then a flower. This one, I like the colors I put in here. These yo-yos and flowers were made with, um, actually made with um, upholstery fabric. It's a piece of upholstery fabric here. Some Battenberg lace. Oh, Elizabeth, you did good. Oh, and this is a page on top of this page. Yeah, I don't have any more pages in this book. I guess I feel this one up. Although I still have more spaces I can put little things in. Oh, this is where I stuffed. I was stuffing. I stitched around that butterfly and then stuffed him. And I stuffed him so he's a puffy butterfly. And then this is just a quilt piece. And then this was a piece of denim and I put a... Y'all remember when I did that, any of you? This is a, can you see it? It's a tree. It's a brown tree, and it's got a lot of, I wonder if I lift it up, if it shows better. No, then it's real dark. What if I put it over here? Oh, here. Maybe you can, if I hold it under that light. But you can see the, this is really pretty. I made the tree out of brown yarn. I braided it first up so far. And then I started taking those, the rest of the yarn that I didn't braid, and I started twisting it and um, couching it and made all the branches. And then I put on the, um, all these little sparklies are beads and sequins. Sequin with a bead. Every one of those are on there. And here I wrote peace and love. Well, Elizabeth, you did a pretty good job right there. I can leave myself a comment. You did a pretty good job right there, Elizabeth. Well, anyway, but then this one has a... Well, I need to tie the end of this ribbon in a knot because it wants to fray. So I'm going to cut that in a knot. I mean, tie it in a knot and then cut the end off. There we go. Then I'm going to do this. Why isn't this end free? Hmm. I wonder if that puppy chewed on this one too. Oh, well, I love the puppy. I'll just do that. Then I know it's not going to fray anymore. There we go. And then I can just tie this in a bow. And that's a couch pillow. And it just lives on my couch. That's great. So what do y'all think about that? Oh, okay. So this, was that on my pages? Yeah, that was on my pages. So this is couch pillow one, couch pillow two. So, and so now this is I want to work on this. And, oh, now I need to finish this. Oh, I, I think I left my, yeah, I'm going to work on this. Oh, maybe I'll do that in a little bit. And so maybe I will take a piece. See, this is what I like to do. If I just take a piece and then this. That's too big. That can't live on there. That can't be living on there. That cannot be living on there. Okay, let's see. 
What do I have? Oh, this is something I started something but didn't finish it. So maybe this could live on here. Like this. Oh, this is a piece of that upholstery fabric that I um made them things out of. And I wonder if I want to put see this. Well, hmm. This well, hmm. Well, hmm. Now, see there, I cut that part. I can put this. But anyway, don't think, don't don't be thinking too hard when you start deciding where to put stuff. Because if you think too hard, you'll never get done doing anything. But see, if I were to put this here like this, let that be there. No, maybe put this here. On this side put that be there and put that there and then if I take one of these vintagey looking pieces right here see this is what you do now you just start laying things out just lay things out and um, where's some flowers I had a flower that was kind of oh here it is like the flower is no no I don't want that flower but this glove see if I do that and then just put a, like a yo-yo here and here's a little baby yo-yo here. No, the baby one. The mama one could go down there. Baby has to be up here safe. Safe. Just like this. And then this little heart could go here. And you just kind of place them here and there and everywhere wherever your heart desires. Or even if your heart hasn't got a clue of where to put them. No, I must have touched my See now how that looks? Does that look good, you guys? What do you think? I think so. So you can take, like I could take, I got some of this lace here. Does it match? Heck no, buddy. Doesn't need to. See, I think what I would do is lay this piece here, there, and I'll put this back down like this here and then what did I have up there I had something up there oh this put this here and this here is that what I had up there oh no I had this glove up there oh do you know what I gotta do I gotta um I need a fussy bit around this glove let's see so I'll do that We'll do that. I'm fussy cutting around this glove. Oh, and I need to let you all know, too. Oh, it's almost time for bingo. Oh, it's almost time for bingo at Kathy's World. I've got a box of stuff i got to send to her. Do bingo prizes. And so, okay, and I want to, I, I need, in case, um, see, I can put that right there, that glove there, and put this here, and put, or maybe this here, maybe this here. Oh, and then this little heart here. What do you think? It looks pretty good to me. No, this has to go over here. And this heart can go here. And that still can be there, and that can be there, and all that. And then I just get me some straight pins here, and I'll pin that on. 
so I'll know where everything's going to live. And then I just start my whorl stitching and everything will be right there where I want it to be. And um, and see, so then they won't move away and get lost. And um, yeah. were made by Cordelia Joe. There. See, so now everything is on there. And then once once I finish this, I might put like a button here. This I might need a button there. And I might need a button here. And then I might even put a couple of um um, what do you call them? Uh, those little stitches, whatever. French knots. I might put them in there too. And, okay, but now, that's about all I have breath for right now. But, um, see, I gotta work on this one a little bit more too. This one's gonna get something. This one, I think I may take one of these. Oh. So I want something in this corner of this one, and this might be what I want on this one. This and this I threaded on a needle too. This is like the um, eyelash trim. I threaded it on a needle and just borrow stitched it in. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And see how this sari fabric is all shredded? I love them shreds right there. And I think right here to just kind of. It's all puffed up, but I think what I'll do is I'll put a button right there, and it kind of hold it down. And when I stitch this on here, that will hold these ones kind of down. I might fluff that out a little bit where it'll overlap it a little. Overlap, and then this one can, this one here can overlap this, so it'll be like tucked in there. That's what I'm going to do right there. I'll cut that little end up right there. Okay, now I need to tell you all about okay last month um ray happy ray of sunshine and myself we started this new thing on the scrap and lizzie channel where we're um having a, a challenge one challenge a month and there'll always be a prize involved the prize is just the luck of the draw and if you do if you do whatever the challenge is and you post a picture, then your name gets put into the hat or the yarn bowl, whatever we put it in, the bucket. And um, and then the, by the luck of the draw, you'll get the, somebody will win. All you have to do is enter. And it's not the prettiest wins, it's the lucky, the luckiest one wins. So... What we had this last time was everybody who put in, uh, entered that challenge, got their name in the bucket, and Cordula Price was the winner. So she won a needle book. Then there were four winners. I haven't got them mailed off yet. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. But then there were four runners up. And um, they win these, they each get to get one of these um, mug rugs. And the runners up were Eugene Osborne, not Eugene, Eugenia, Gina Osborne, Kathy Lake, Barbara Batzer, and Cindy Nason. I hope I got their names right. Okay, but anyway. I have Kathy Lake's address. I have Barbara Batzer. I have. I do not have Cindy's address. So, but I did put up a message. I put up a. I don't know why I had so much trouble this morning trying to put up a message about the winners this morning in um, the group. But I got it up there somehow. It's up there. But so hopefully I will get everybody's address so I can nail off these four. 
and hopefully I'll have them mailed off tomorrow. But that's for them. Now, for 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 May 1st now, for this month, April, for the month of April, our challenge is to pick four of these five items. I got five items we just picked out of the air. Cardboard, buttons, color, fiber, and vintage. So by using those five prompts, you come up with something. If whatever you come up with, it doesn't matter what it is. You could maybe build a car out of it. I don't know. You can build something. But you pick only four, or you can pick all five, or you can pick 99 things. But there has to, four of these items have to be in your entry picture. And it's just a picture. You just take a picture of whatever you make and put it up on the, on the Scrap of Mrs. site. And then you have to put in this um, hashtag Unicorn Sunshine 3. Because this will be the third month. Oh yeah, the first month was the um the first month was the something else and and Miss Um Ray sent off a journal that she made to that winner. Now oh and this month the winner is going to get one of these fancy needle pin cushions. Actually I'm going to use, it's going to be made out, this one's actually mine, but the winner is going to have one special made. But um, it's crocheted at the top, and it's in a galvanized little bucket with a little handle and everything. It's got like little flowers, and it'll even have some little pins in it. I'll let pins be in it. But this ribbon, I think I'm going to make, instead of having this, I have this purple ribbon on because I like purple, but I think I'm going to put a piece of like jute rope on there. That would look more countryfied. And that is what the prize is going to be. There may be runner up prizes. We do not ever promise runner up prizes because we don't know if we'll have them. But that, this is what the um, winner will get. And, and when I mail stuff off, I usually. I probably wouldn't just put this one little bucket in a in a box and mail it. I'd probably add more stuff to it. And so that's what you're that's what you're are shooting for is to win a galvanized bucket pin cushion. So I need to make sure I have the addresses to mail off these runners up their their little um mug rugs. So and I think the only one I don't have is, I think the only address I don't have is Cindy Mason. I need that one. I have Kathy Lakes, Barbara Fetzer, and Gina Osborne. I got them once. So I'll get them. Hopefully I get them all enveloped up today and mailed off tomorrow. And, and... And um, Cordula, yours will get pulled off. I'll be mailed off tomorrow. And um, I'm slow as molasses in January. I know I am. But I sometimes I just don't get off of my lazy bum here. I just sit right here and stitch and stitch and stitch before now. I know it. It's bedtime. And so, but anyway, that's all, that's all folks for right this minute, but hang on, I'm going to read you something because just it's something I do. You got to stand up here. I actually cleared off my space today and it doesn't look it. Okay. So we're going to read out of this one again today. Prayers, passages of peace. Passages of peace. So let's just open it to right here. And this one here. Oh, did I leave my glasses by my... Well, here's my glasses. Rotch I gotta go back up to that eye spectacle place and see if they can adjust these so they fit on my head. Okay. My visitor, 
Today I saw a butterfly. I heard my children's happy laughs and felt a gentle breeze. Today I held a newborn babe and watched a bird in flight. I saw the moon and stars appear to welcome in the night. I bowed my head in humble prayer at the joy of being free and gave thanks for another day God chose to spend with me. And that was written by Eleanor Torshka. And here from Psalm 74, 16, it says, Yours the day and yours the night, you set the moon and sun in place. And here from Romans 15, 7, it says, Welcome one another, then as Christ welcomed you for the glory of God. And that's our reading for today. And y'all do some slow stitching. I'm telling you. And if you put it in a book, like a, a fabric journal like that, and then you don't look at it for a while, look at it again, it's like, oh my gosh, how adorable. It's just something all new to look at. And so I will work on this one. I'm going to work on this. I work on many things all at one time. I might put a movie on and watch a little movie. And while I'm watching a movie, I might just stitch. Or I might watch some videos. Or maybe I'll, I'm not going to watch it. No, I'm not going to watch no auctions. Mm -mm, no auctions. Okay, I ask God to watch over you every step you take. Every move you make to keep you happy, healthy, humble, and keep you safe and secure, and keep you, be kind to everybody, because you don't know, you don't know what everybody's going through, so be kind to everybody, even grumpy people, that's right, okay, God bless and keep you all, and thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being you, God bless.